So the first part of this process is going to be removing the Bowden tube. Not to do that, you need to first remove the filament that is currently loaded in the machine. So I am preheating the nozzle to PLA because that's what I have loaded. Once the nozzle is uh, preheated, you're going to see here that I am now removing the PLA. If you don't do this, removing the Bowden tube is going to be next to impossible. So now I am getting the wrench that is supplied with my machine and I am removing the Bowden tube. Now in just a moment, you're going to see that I take the roll of filament and I am putting it back into the extruder. This way we can start testing. Now, once you do this, go ahead and snip the PLA flush with the output of the extruder. Here's a close up of that right now. And once you get it snipped flush with the extruder, go to your printer and then go to the move menu and extrude 100 millimeters of filament. Here you see that I am actually extruding the filament. And once again, get your snips and cut it flush. Now here, go ahead and get a pair of calipers and open it up all the way so the jaws do not get in the way. Now take whatever was extruded and try and flatten it out the best you possibly can because we need to now measure this piece of filament. If it's curly, we're not going to get a good measurement on it. So after measuring my piece of filament, it just so happens that this is 96.12 millimeters in length. The next thing we do is figure out what our current E-steps are set to. Mine are set to 96.8. If it happens to be that you cannot view that on your actual printer and you don't know where your E-steps are, follow this text file. This sets your extruder set to 100. So make sure you save it on the SD card and add the .g code extension. Then go over to your printer and execute this print. Guys, this changes the E-steps that were previously on your printer, so you need to re-extrude 100 millimeters of filament and measure that length all over again. So, go ahead and take this small equation and do as I'm doing here, plug your own numbers in. In my case, the final value comes out to be 100.7. So, I'm going to take this number and I'm going to go back to the 3 printer. I'm going to navigate to the uh, steps menu once again and I'm going to change that to 100.7. Again guys if you don't have the ability to change your extruder steps on the actual printer take your SD card out go over to the computer and then create the file that you see here. This sets my new extruder steps to 100.7. Again go ahead and save this file make sure whatever you save it as you add the .g code extension. Once you have it saved you are going to go over to your printer. You are going to plug the SD card back into the printer and then navigate to the print menu as you're seeing here and then execute that print. So once that print has been executed, go ahead and navigate to the move menu on your printer, navigate to the extruder section and once again, extrude 100 millimeters of filament that is what you see is happening right here. So the extruded amount of filament should be different from last time. So once it's done, get it cut off and then open the jaws of your calipers and measure the filament once again. Guys, if your filament does not equal exactly 100 millimeters, then redo exactly everything in this video. If it equals 100 millimeters of filament exactly, guys, take a break, go print something cool and enjoy your day. Guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one.